Okay, Ben Sears, here we are. Well, we're here in Bangladesh, first Black Caps camp. How are you going? Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool being amongst well, some pretty good players, um, being part of it. Just the, the environment's a little bit different, like especially being in Bangladesh. <laughs> pretty crazy like just traveling uh, on the bus to the ground and just yeah it, it, just embracing it all as you see I mean you're just getting a glimpse of it all but yeah it's, it's a pretty amazing place yeah I mean first tour of Bangladesh what, what, what sort of different what have you found out here you know what have you seen on the buses what about the heat um yeah I mean it's it's really hot it, it was it, first time at training uh, to be honest uh, that I've experienced it being that hot <laughs> and so yeah it, it was just just embracing getting used to that like learning how to play and bowl when you're when you're feeling uncomfortable was was interesting but, mm. but um yeah just staying hydrated it's, it's cool yeah so what is it key to hydration key for that what do you think in these conditions uh, yeah 100 percent. i think you, lo you lose water or it's through sweat pretty quickly so yeah just just staying on top of that so yeah yeah and as we said first sort of first black caps camp um has anyone taken you under their wing or who's, who's looking after you out there uh, or it's just nice being around there. There's quite a few guys from Wellington. Um, obviously, Hamish Bennett um, is in uh, and around the camp as well. So yeah, it's it's been awesome spending time with him. Just yeah, um, just yeah, just having him there has yeah. been awesome. And you're Tom Blundells, um, and you've got your sort of your head coach here in Glen Pocknell. Um, how, yeah, how's but, how's that hanging out with those guys as well? Yeah, well, it's just that familiarity. Um, yeah, it, it helps a lot, and um, yeah, it's it's cool. Mm. Bowling fast, it's what you do, Cezzy. Um, is that something you're going to look to do over here in Bangladesh? But I guess coupled with the use of the slower balls, the use of the cutters, um, how have you found the sort of training decks and, and how are you going to you know, use your pace and then also not use your pace? Oh, yeah, I, I mean, there's you, you try bowl fast, but, um, yeah, the wickets are different. Uh, you, you need to be smarter with it. Like, it, it really, the, the fast one sometimes in those nets feels like, that's the one that might get smashed so yeah it's just picking and choosing when when to bowl or what and um yeah just maintaining variety but yeah certainly throwing hard fast balls into the wicket like off cutters are helpful and just yeah mixing it up mm. and what about that training ground um you sort of walk out to the nets and there's big sort of buildings up all around us have you ever played or, or trained anywhere like that and, and what do you think of that sort of experience <laughs> oh yeah i mean it, really different it's 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 not like kind of like i mean the, the accommodation around the grounds is yeah it, it's different it's eye-opening uh, but yeah and this yeah it's just, it's a different it's a different it feels like a different world but yeah it's it is eye-opening and it's slightly different too in the sense with you know covid19 protocols and all that i mean um, it's fair to say it's on your first tour, so you probably don't know much different. But what what are the pro protocols like? I mean, in the in the hotel and then just travelling around. Oh, uh, well, I mean the protocols we're we're isolated from the public, but, um, and we're we're on our own floor and we have a team room. And yeah, I mean you don't you don't come into contact with many people, but I mean, it's not compared to back home. We're in lockdown. Like I mean, it's it's not that too much different. It's, yeah, it's the first time I've been involved in a licking cricket overseas, so yeah, it's it's all I know really. So yeah, it's it's, it's pretty in a weird way normal at the moment. Mm. So yeah. And have you enjoyed working with um, bowling coach Graham Aldridge? Has he sort of passed on any knowledge, or perhaps Talan as well, who's who's played a lot in the subcontinent and probably knows a thing or two about these conditions? Ah, uh, well, yeah, it's amazing. I mean being a, well, have a guy like that involved like he averages 48 in test cricket so yeah just just trying to get what information I can from him obviously he's um, a batsman and yeah I mean I try hold a stick but yeah he's uh, he was talking to me he told me he's got Brian Lara out he's got he's got a few of the greats um, in his back pocket so quite a few more than me at the moment even though he was just a part-timer so yeah uh, he's, he's got a lot to offer yeah and just and just finally, Spezzy, uh, Spezzy, um if you were to, to debut here in Bangladesh in one of these T20s, what what would that mean, and how special that would that be for you? Oh, I think it would be awesome. I mean, yeah, I, I I think it's it's a bit of a weird tour. Like, probably the the fifteenth bowler in the country picked for it because uh, everyone's out. And I mean, yeah, it's a bit weird when you look at it like that, but it's just an awesome opportunity. Um, come over here, have a go, and yeah, it's just, it's pretty wild. It's awesome. All right.